Hi guys, Vaping Nathan here, and it's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's a vape vlog! So I know I kind of skipped a couple of days this week. I apologize for that, but I did let you know in the last week vlog that I will be taking some time off. I'm just extremely exhausted. Um, I've got a lot going on right now, and... Mm. So, the first and foremost thing I want to talk to everybody about is the craziness of the election. Now, I am not getting into a political debate. I am not putting my political views on the table whatsoever. Period. Don't want it. Don't need it. If you act like that, go to a different channel, please. I honestly, I, in a million years, I never would have expected Donald Trump to win. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Um, I will have to see how he does, first and foremost. So, I did go vote. You all saw my video where I voted. I hope that you all did the same. So, but like I said, I'm not putting my political views out here. I do not want to get into it. And I know how touchy people are about their political views. Even though we're all people, we all have opinions, just like assholes, and they all stink. Period. I am back to running my Axiom. I finally got a coil for it, and I've got some fabulous e-juice coming up for review, thanks to Tia Vapes. Um, that's going to be most of this month is going to be e-juice, and then I have a couple of RDAs, one of them being the Dot Mod Petrie. I picked this up a while ago. I want to do a review on that, as well as I have a, um... An older tank, it's the Smoke TFV4. I do have that uh, that I, I've had for a while, and I want to do a review for that as well. Um, just kind of clear up what I have in back stock, back inventory, waiting to be done. So everybody's favorite time of the day... It is viewer comments and questions. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my computer screen here so that we can take a look at the comments and questions. Alright, so here we are. You see that we're almost at the 2,500 views. Yay! And we do have 169 Vape and Nathan crew. Go us. Go us. We're growing! Yay! Vaporbration time! Alright, so now we're just going to go in and take a look at the comments that people have left. So, um, this first one, we are just going to trash because haters have no place on my channel other than to click my videos. Thank you! Bye-bye! All right, so the next one is Jesse Lau. He did comment to me on Twitter and said that I said his name right the second time, which I believe that is the way I said it the second time, so yay, thumbs up. And he said, amazing video, my dude. Awesome. And then I have Lady Melanin. She commented, I never heard of a Hot Topic blood bags. That's really cool. I was kind of creeped out by that. And I said, mystery bags, LOL. She said, XD, I type blind bags. I promise, not blood. <laughs> Love it. Autocorrect for you. I absolutely love my iPhone. But I hate Apple's autocorrect with a passion. Like, really, people, 
I love the fact that it fixes my words, but sometimes it turns my words into different words and it's a pain in the ass. Although without it, I'd have a lot more spelling errors. So there's always a plus side and a downside to everything. And then I have Amy M saying congrats on winning. Love it. Oh, and look, I have another hater. LOL, you're fat. I am not fat. I am pleasantly plump and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, yes, I am fat. I am heavy. I am over 400 pounds. And I am not one of those people who are riding around in a wheelchair. No, I still walk through the grocery store. So, thank you, Logan, but you don't need to point that out. I know. I have a second chin, and it's almost big enough to name. Creature. Um, now, Mandy's and Poo Poo is not going on my neck. Since y'all gonna see me, and if you see me looking, I am looking at the computer screen, people, so. And then I have Dar Doug Hartwell saying, will it leak in your pocket, and how bad is it? Will I lose a tank of juice? And that's on my Kenger Tech sub box mini C update video, which I will put a link in the description for those of you who haven't seen it. You can go ahead and check that out. Or actually, I'll do a little iCard somewhere in one of the corners and it'll pop over to the side so um yes it will leak i had very minimal actual leaking from it a little bit here and there but it's more if you disconnect the tank from the coil then you'll lose an entire tank of aegis in your pocket and that wouldn't be fun and then i have an avita evans thanks for the shout out and you got my name right someone finally i didn't butcher her name that's awesome. And I have a little bit of dirt from the dogs on my hands. That's amazing to be on video. And she loves my website reviews, so I am going to keep on doing them. Let me know and actually send me a couple of websites. People that you want me to check out that I can throw up on the internet. And do reviews on because I have this fabulous software now that records my computer screen. Uh, oh, actually here, Jesse Lau said it. Yo, you read my comment and it's the second way of saying my last name. I thought it was on Twitter or Facebook, but it's here. He has talked to me on Facebook, on pages. Well, pages is Facebook. It's for when you create a page and it's confusing. And I had a comment here from Eastwood. I just bought one of those crappers on a flash sale after watching rave reviews by Kimmy Grapey Vapes, some Fred Durst looking guy, and this old dude who obviously vaping more than just e-juice. Not to mention, not one mention of any issues you brought up. I bet they spent a total of 10 minutes using the kit when they got it for a free in exchange Got it for free, for free in exchange. Thank you for posting this legit and honest review. We need more people like you. Well, thank you. If you guys like my reviews, go ahead and subscribe as well. Share my videos so that I can get more subscribers. Start bringing in some moolah and be able to do better reviews for you. Um, I honestly will not put up a good review, even if it's a product that is sent to me to do a review on. You won't get a good review if it is not a good product. And th the truth is I have a juice review up there. It's the Machine Vapors Juice Review. I will put a annotation or a card in here with that one. And my do you see that? My lens just popped out of my glasses. There it went. Okay. Well, I can't read any more reviews now. But back up to full screen. I will put a card in somewhere um, for the Juice Machine Vapors. They were a company that sent me their products and I left it steep for a really long time. And it was the nastiest tasting juice that I have ever had. 
And you can see that review, and I'll, I was honest with it. And they sent it to me for review. So, you know I'm going to be truthful. Um, and then I had RJTV. Again, a hater, so we're just going to go ahead and delete him. All right. And while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and do our new subscriber sh shout out. I have a Shara Jane Baxter, which I think she was my last one. I have Nate Dog Vapes. Thumbs up there, Nate Dog. And then a Flime Warm. I apologize, I know I just butchered your name. And then I have a few more that just subscribed that haven't popped onto this screen, so I will get you guys next week. All right, so that is it there. All right, so again, you guys, I want to hear your stories. Go ahead, send them to me so I can get some vaporversaries going on and some vaporations. So, honestly, I am not sure, um, with, I haven't, I've, I get Kassau's websites and all of that, so, I apologize if the camera's moving, I had to plug it in, it's still recording, um, my camera was dying. I haven't heard much on what's going on with the FDA regulations. I do keep, you know, I, I'm subscribed to CASA, and I actually need to take my own advice and go subscribe to Not Blowing Smoke and all of that. Um, but definitely, there are links in the description where you can go to the vape advocacy sites. And I haven't heard a lot going on. I do watch the, you know, Tia Vapes and all of that on here, and I do keep up with the news and stuff. So, we don't, I, I, I don't have much. I know that we do need to still fight for our right to vape, but we're getting to a point where I don't know how much more fighting we can do. So, just keep calling your senators, keep sending them letters, do everything that you can. And I actually have a little piece of personal news going on. I have decided to create a second channel. Well, I kind of, I'm not doing my second channel anymore, flat out. It's all on this channel. Everything's right here up in front and out in the open. But I will not be doing a second, like, vlog style channel. I just don't see the need to. Um, if I want to post random stuff like, I voted, I'm going to post it here, and then I'll do a regular video that night. But overall, I have decided to do a collab channel with a friend of mine. As you know, and as you've seen, I am a hairstylist. First and foremost, it's my passion. It's what I love to do. I've been doing it for 12 years, and I'm going to continue to do it. But her and I have decided to go ahead and start a second YouTube channel. We are waiting till January um, to start it up because just scheduling conflicts and all of that. And we got to sit down and discuss what the channel name is and all of the analytics that go with that. So, um... It will be a hair-based channel. So if any of you want to check that out... In a few more vape vlogs, I will be setting it all up and putting the link so you'll hear about it again. But just a little sneak preview, it is coming. And we'll be featuring, like, I know we're planning on doing one video a week to start with. Just because I do a lot of videos on this channel every day or every week. And um, I don't want to overwhelm myself any more than I already have. So, but all right, guys, I want to thank you for watching today. If you enjoy vaping, please join one of the many vaping advocacy groups out there. There are links below. As always, I'm Vaping Nathan, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.